Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm so sorry if I get out of focus at all during this video or if you see me looking in the back. I don't have a viewfinder that flips up, so this is the best I could do. Oh, I got my panel. It's how I wax and tint my brows at home and how I would best recommend for you guys to do it. I am a licensed esthetician slash nail tech. Um, I don't use the nail portion, so, but technically it's called like a full specialist license. So I am licensed. I do have experience in this. Oh, I did turn on the wax machine. I do have experience in this. Oh, I did cut myself. But my lips are so chapped is because I cannot put any lip balm on around my upper lip because I'm also going to wax my upper lip. Okay, so to wax my lip. <laughs> Okay, so to matte my eyebrows, I'm going to use the BH Studio Brow Powder and I'm also going to go on with my Ruby Kisses Eyebrow Brush in order to map. I've not done this in a minute, so please forgive me. Brush all the hair upwards, which will kind of give you an idea of how to shape from the bottom. Because one thing we learned um, at Benefit, and sorry, my nose, I wash my face so it's really dry. Like, again, I can't put moisturizer on it until after I finish this. So now my face is like tickling. You shape from the bottom. Do not try to create arches in the top of your brow. You should leave the top as full as possible, and any shape, arches, or whatever that you're trying to create should come from the bottom. So, what I like to do is I like to take a really, really dark color in this palette um, because you want it to be very noticeable where you're mapping. You don't want it to be too close to the brow color because then it can kind of get confusing. So, I'm just going to take like the darkest thing in here. You can just choose whichever dark color brow products you have um we don't need to go out and go buy this palette you would do the tip of the oh see right there you would do the tip of the nose which shows you where your eyebrows should start you would then kind of go center on your nose which should show you where the arch belongs and then you would do the end of your nose to show you where your eyebrows should end it lines whatever you want to do all my other lines are really light I don't know why that is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline the shape of what I plan on taking off on the bottom so what I do is you outline it and then whatever's outside of the line ideally is what you would wax my brush feels so dull today this never happens like my lines are always way darker than this something on this is it oh huh, let me try the gel <laughs> okay guys so i just i did just switch to the gel so depending on your goals is how you would do this um this is a little bit fatter than i normally would keep but because i'm trying to go for more of a jordan woods approach um, I'm going to rely more on tweezers than the wax to kind of get that to look however brush up. shape out the front of this one so I would recommend if you want darker lines please use the gel do not be an idiot like myself and <laughs> use the powder because the powder is being very faint right now look at it from a distance so I have a mirror behind me I have a mirror to the side of me so this is kind of like messed up right here and if that really bothers you you could fix it but I I know what it's supposed to be when I look at my brows from right here, they both look like they're dipping down a little in the front and they go into their arch. So for me, this is fine. I don't see the point in me um, overdoing it with for the bottom. Let me come at Jordan what's already. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna do the same thing with the other eyebrow. Oh. 
Oh, the wax machine I'm using is the Satin Smooth Single Pot. I'm going to link that down below. The wax I'm using is the Amethyst by Satin Smooth. However, I don't recommend it the most. It's just currently the one I have. So it's what I'm going to use. Um, I would probably re recommend the Zinc Onk. Zinc ox I don't know how to pronounce that. Zinc oxide on on side one the most. I'm not gonna talk throughout this process because you want to stay as still as possible when you're waxing yourself or anyone in general because when you move your face, you move the product. So oh and for my wax strips slash what we call in the business muslin, I'm just using this random one from the Beauty by Store. I don't like this. I prefer the cloth muslin. I prefer the I prefer the cloth muslin. However, um, I was desperate, so this is what I have now. So again, when I have something, I tend to use it. And you want to make sure you're waxing in thin, precise layers to really get the hair. I know that uh, if you're if you don't go to school, you would be in the belief that thick layers are better for waxing, but it's not. Thin, um, thin, precise layers are always best when it comes to waxing. Last night, the night you're gonna do is that you're gonna place the wax in the direction that the hair grows so in the middle your hair grows upwards so I, that's why you guys saw I placed the wax upwards I pressed it in and I ripped from downwards very normal so there's my hair and smooth brand for my oil you could just get this on Amazon and I like to use premium cotton rounds that have like this soft side on them so I just fold it and I just ooh, I don't look like Jordan Woods but <laughs> I remember I told a co-worker I wanted some nice eyebrows he's like you don't have some nice eyebrows He's Puerto Rican, so he said in a Puerto Rican accent, and it's very true. If you don't have eyebrows like those people, it's not going to look that way. You're just inspired by the style, which I won't know how good I did until I look down. Doing what I wanted to do, but that one is my favorite brow, this one. This one has some extra little hairs in places, which will make it look very ugly. But I realized that in order for it to grow the way I want it to grow, I'm going to have to let those extra hairs sit and simmer oh this feels so good Whew, this feels fantastic this wax especially with me having to like wait and not go as fast to demonstrate to you guys it irritated the hell out of my skin so yes i'm gonna go in with my tweezers i have tweezer man tweezers i just have this pink pair that i got from tj maxx you get these at Ulta, um, anywhere. These are some of my favorite tweezers. So I'm just gonna tweeze. So in order to tweeze, single out the one hair you wanna grab, or the couple, if it's a bunch, but don't start taking out multiple hairs with tweezing until you get like really experienced with tweezing because tweezing can create holes very quickly. So like, especially if you're like having to see if the hair has significance, give it a second. And then if the hair goes to the right, Pull it from the right. Don't be trying to pull from the left. All that. Do what? No. So 
So if the hair is going this direction, so set the hair right here, boom, that's what I would do. So I'm just gonna speed up tweezing. Ooh, this is real cute. This is cute like this. I feel like if I leave it brushed up, it's cuter. So I probably will try to laminate them. So these are my brows. Now for the tint. I feel like I should tint it in a separate video. Yeah, I'm gonna do a separate video for the tint. So I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. I hope this video is not too long. I'm gonna try to make this video 10 minutes or less. So without further ado, it's time for me to go. If you guys wanna learn how to wax your lip, I'm gonna do that next. Excuse me. I've just been so nasty today. So if you guys wanna learn how to do that next, I'm going to back up. So this is the final eyebrow look. I'm going to tint them, but I'm going to do the tint in a separate video. That way this video is not too long. And I'm going to also wax my upper lip, but I'm also going to do that in another video. So then this video is not too long. So if you guys want to see those, those will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much. Let me know if you guys tried this. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to ask me because I know it's very scary to wax yourself. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And without further ado, bye.